Fitbit Versa 3 is one of the best smartwatches for health and fitness tracking. But how good is it exactly? If you too are curious, then this is the perfect video for you. In this video, I have compared the Fitbit Versa 3 watch heart rate and GPS accuracy with Garmin 245 Music. Besides that, I will also be comparing the heart rate reading with the medical grade oximeter. Without any further delay, let's first start with the GPS accuracy test. So before beginning my run, the battery was 74% on Garmin and 27% on my Fitbit. So let's start with my workout. Sorry for the camera, as you can see I was recording and operating the watch simultaneously. So I am back from my run. It lasted for almost 57 minutes and after my run was over, Garmin was left with 61% battery and Versa 3 with 17% battery life. Single hour of running activity consumed 10% battery on Fitbit Versa 3 and 13% on Garmin. The battery powering the Versa 3 is 260mAh and battery powering the Garmin 400 245 Music is 180mAh. So for 1 hour of outdoor GPS activity, Fitbit Versa 3 consumed 26mAh. Garmin on the other hand only consumed 23.4mAh of battery. In terms of battery consumption, Garmin here has performed significantly better. However, the bigger battery on Fitbit Versa 3 will make up for it. Let's now compare the heart rate and pace kilometer recorded by Strava on both the Garmin and Fitbit watch. One thing to note here is that I forgot to turn off the run tracking on my Fitbit Versa 3 for 1 to 2 minutes after completing my run. It didn't put any significant impact on the workout data but I still want to put this info out there. Starting with the distance run, you can find it to be 8.11 on Garmin and 8.04 km on Fitbit. Average pace, elevation gain, calories burned and heart rate per minute is more or less the same. Let's now analyze the splits per kilometer chart. For the first kilometer, it is 5.58 km per hour in Garmin and 6 minutes 4 second kilometers per hour in Fitbit. Second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth kilometer are more or less the same. There are some differences in my seventh and eighth kilometer. Moving to the heart rate splits per kilometer, here too there are some differences in the final two kilometers. As you can see, it takes Fitbit some time to detect 170 beats per minute in 7th and 8th kilometer. Moving on to the GPS accuracy, I found Fitbit Versa 3's GPS accuracy to be one of the worst ones I have ever seen. As you can see, it was overshooting a lot. I mean, it is pretty common in smartwatches, but Versa 3 was doing it a lot. To give you an idea, I will be playing the screen recording of the path recorded by Garmin 245 Music side by side for the same route. This is not a deal breaker for me, but it will be for anyone who lives in cities with high rise buildings, as GPS acts more finicky under buildings or trees. Maybe I am being too hard on Versa 3, so why don't you share your thoughts in the comment below. Do you think I am being too hard on Versa 3? Let's now compare the data tracked by both the watch respective companion apps. As you can see, Fitbit only offers splits for laps, elevation, heart rate zones and calories burned data. Compared to that, 245 Music can tell various other data like average speed, max speed, pace and aerobic and anaerobic effect of workouts. During my side by side comparison, I found out that Fitbit pace calculation was a little off towards the end. Moreover, there is no heart rate split for individual kilometer on Fitbit app as well. You also get various charts to go with it too. So obviously Fitbit is no competition to Garmin when it comes to tracking your workout. Fitbit is more of a health and lifestyle oriented product. I will be talking about what I mean by that in my review video. So get subscribed to watch the video once it is out. With that, it's time to do the resting heart rate accuracy test of Fitbit Versa 3. Now I will be comparing Fitbit's heart rate accuracy with Garmin 245 Music and Oximeter. I will be doing a total number of 3 tests. In the first one, I will be wearing my Fitbit Versa 3, Garmin 245 and Oximeter on my right hand. The reason for that is, Oximeter works best in the right hand. In the second test, I will remove Garmin 245 Music so we can just focus on Oximeter and Versa 3. Third final test will be Versa 3 and Oximeter on my left hand, as that's where the majority of users are going to wear the watch. 
So let's begin with the test. As you can see, Fitbit Versa 3 is pretty close to both the watch and oximeter. It's time to remove Garmin 245 music. The results are pretty much the same. It's time to do the third and final test on my left hand. So let's begin. As you can see, the watch is pretty close to the oximeter. Now it's time to discuss some of the settings you as Fitbit Versa 3 owners should know. To access the heart rate settings, open your Fitbit app. Tap on the profile icon on the left hand corner of the screen. Scroll below and tap on activity and wellness. Then tap on the heart rate settings option. Here you will find two options, heart health notifications and exercise. Using heart rate health notifications, you can set high and low heart rate alerts. Enabling it will give you an alert whenever your heart rate crosses 50 or 120 beats per minute. You can also set a custom maximum heart rate zone or heart rate zone for your workout activity. Using it you will get alerts whenever your heart rate falls below or exceed during your workout. So those were the heart rate settings that I think every Fitbit Versa 3 user should know. What is your experience with Fitbit Versa 3 when it comes to heart rate accuracy? Share them in the comment section below. Also don't forget to subscribe as I will be coming out with my Fitbit Versa 3 review very soon. With that, it's time to say goodbye. See you next time.